let's take another crack at the NBA today, shall we? Man, uh, it's been rough last week or week and a half, but we can rebound. Um, yeah, I'm just like personally, I'm not spending a lot of money on NBA right now. It's it's a hard code to crack. But I think we uh, are on the verge of something here. Um, first, let's talk about Derek White. Well, actually, you can talk about Derek White and Luca together. Probably my two favorite plays this year. Um, Derek White is climbing up in salary. Luca is just still cheap for what he does. He does everything good. And he's playing a San Antonio team. Well, hopefully people think San Antonio is good defensively. They're not this year. Not at all. Dirk White. He's like been like almost too good lately. And Dallas cannot guard guards. So Marcus Morris. Awful game last time out, which is good. Less, means less ownership. Playing a really good team, also good. This game should be close. Um, I believe Kyrie will be playing in this top game. I'm not sure as of right now, but if Kyrie Irving's playing, I'm playing Marcus Morris, meaning this game should be really close. At Boston, be a lot closer than if it'd be at Toronto. Now we're gonna go into some of the late hammer games. I love this pick. Also, one of my favorite plays. You just have to play him. He's getting more minutes now. The last two games, the Jazz and their team, everyone thinks is good defensively, but Gobert and Favors, they can be beat. Offensively, he can get a lot of rebounds, a lot of points. I love this. And speaking about Gobert, I like Gobert to round out the top five. He's just on a tear lately. And the Clippers are one of those teams that are just terrible against big men. And it's the late night hammer, which means Gobert should have less ownership than if he was like a seven or eight o'clock game. Uh, Eastern time. So, doesn't leave you much salary. So let me show you a few sleepers that I like here. Um, where is he? Oh, my bad. Going all the way down. Caspi. Now it's wrong. I thought Justin Holiday was going to be starting and playing like 30 plus minutes, but apparently, the, even though the Grizzlies traded for him, apparently they don't like him yet. But Caspi got the play last game, 25 minutes. He had the most minutes. He split time. But he can be about a point a minute kind of a player, if not more. And, then, and Milwaukee. Not so great um, against Fords. About middle of the pack. And he's playing at home. Also, who do I like up here who also had a bad game last time out? Royce O'Neal had a terrible game last time out. So I'm playing him. I'll be playing him. Late Night Hammer. The Clippers. Terrible against just by everyone. I mean, the Clippers are a really good team, so they'll keep the score close, but defensively, they're bad. And then also, tripping around, Iguodala, pretty good game last time out. I'm sticking with him. Got the Pelicans are bad defensively. I don't know if this game's going to be a shootout, I mean, a blowout. Uh, the Warriors did play last night. They blew out the Nuggets. Thought that game would be close. Like, there are a lot of. I think the average margin of, of victory 
Last night was like 28 points. I was like, every game was a blowout. Pretty much. And then sticking to it, I like Looney. I should have a good run against that. So, my top five I have here, this would be part of one lineup that I'm doing. But I'm doing a second lineup tonight. And what I'm doing is I'm picking the game that I think is going to be the highest total in points. And then I am just doing that game. And I'm just going to see what happens. So I can, so I'll report back to you guys tomorrow um, about how that lineup did. So anyways, they'll do it. This is my top five. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, comment below on who you think you about playing. Or if one of these five guys you like to play or don't want to play, you know, just let me know who you're playing. All right, guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.